Hey everybody, Tech Bishop here with another Monday video. And to today's video, I was thinking about what to talk about, and a new subscriber, he's new, plus he actually commented. I know I have a lot of subscribers, but all of you guys don't comment to me, so I understand, I guess, whatever. But I have it set up now, so I get my comments right directly to my phone, so if you comment on any of my videos I'll get the message any time of the day so I can answer I'll be answering back a whole lot more what do you call it a uh, real time but guy's name I think it pronouncing it right is uh, Vito Barbudo said he just re recently started driving trucks I hope at 51 years old said he loves it said he realizes he has to pay his dues like I say but you gotta love it so it doesn't feel so much like a job. He said he actually feels like a, he's made a career change and he likes a lot of my videos and I have some great solid tips on backing. So what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about backing right now to help him out. And like I said, welcome to Trucking Vito and welcome to my YouTube world here. Uh, the, basically, the number one trick to backing that I found is to is to not get in your own head when you're backing up and stop thinking about what other people are thinking and what other drivers are thinking and you, you lose your focus. You can't focus on what you're doing if you're worried about what I'm thinking or what the guy at the dock's thinking or, or something like this. I know everybody has these things because I used to have them when I was first coming up. Something I hated if I was going back into a dock and the guy would open the dock door. By the time I started to pull up to get ready to back in, you know, you almost want a little bit of privacy when you're backing in so people won't criticize you. But you have to do what you got to do and don't worry about what anybody else is thinking. After a while you'll get where it's almost like you're by yourself all the time, like nobody's around. Me now, as long as I've been doing it, I can care less what you think, or how long it takes me, or how many pull-ups I have to do. I'm going to get it in the hole like it's supposed to be, and I don't care what anybody thinks. But I do remember, for example, one time I was taking mail into the Marine base there in Jacksonville, North Carolina, Camp Lejeune, and there's a real tricky postal area there, and there's some grass over there and, and cars everywhere like all these post offices are. But it, it looks really tight. And it is. You have to do it exactly right. But it'll go one back up. No pull-ups every time if you do it right. So I pull in. And this particular time when I pull up, I usually toot the horn so the receivers at the mail would come on out and, and they'd get ready to, uh, or they would at least know I was there. So I toot the horn and then here comes this, I don't know how many a platoon is, look like a platoon, every Marine in the post office came out because we have a, a civilian side of the post office and we've got a Marine side of the post office. All the Marines come out and just gather out on the dock and I just started backing in. Usually they won't come out until I backed all the way in but this time they're all out there and yeah, I start getting in my head, like I said. I start looking back, and they're looking, and you see them doing stuff like this, and I'm like, man, and I was getting kind of aggravated. I'm like, I wish they had to come up here and do it and all this stuff, and they don't, I was thinking they don't understand how hard this is, and I was creeping really slow because I didn't want to make any mistakes. I, no throttle whatsoever. I was just, whatever the idle, engine idle would back, that's all I was backing is letting it idle back. I was taking my time working it out, and this is probably the first time I'd ever done it in this particular location, but it was a straight back in, boom, one time back in, no pull-ups, everything was straight, and I'm like, yeah, what do y'all got to say now? And I jump out, still kind of aggravated, you know, because they were just watching and, you know, just standing there, basically, but I was just thinking that they were criticizing me because I wasn't that familiar with backing into this area that many times. And when I get out of the truck, they all start applauding. 
And like we never would have imagined that, that truck would have fit in like that. You know, so then I'm feeling, you know, pretty good then. But, you know, at the time, and if I had a messed up, I had to pull up and start over, pull over, start over. It would have got more and more and more and more and more in my head until, you know, I mean, I've seen guys do it. They sit there for an hour sometimes trying to get in somewhere and you just cannot do it when people are watching you sometimes. So you have to just make sure you can focus on what you're doing. Don't let them get in your head. Do what you got to do. Concentrate like nobody's watching. Just like singing in the shower. Nobody's listening. Just let it go and do the best you can. So that's my tip for backing. My number one tip. Get out of your own head. And I'm going to go. I feel like I'm just rambling on and on and on. But anyway, go see Ponzi Zombie Killer. He's got his channel coming back up. He's uh, going to start putting videos up. And he's, uh, what I heard from his last video, he's single and ready to mingle so make sure you go see Ponzi Zombie Killer. I'll put the description or the link in the description below and go check him out. He's got some real real world owner operator woes and troubles about getting loads and how he's trying to maximize everything he does. He, he's trying to cut out all his dead head now but He's one of those guys, if he don't pay, he don't play. So, And that's really the way you got to be in trucking now. It don't always pay just to ride down the road. Just because you got a load on, you know, if you're not making anything, you got to make money. But anyway, I'm going to go. So I'll see you guys next week, unless I think of something in the between time, but probably next Monday. See you guys. Tech Bishop signing out.